good? Come here. Oh, big boy. Good morning, friends. Welcome to a day in my life as a work from home mom. It's Friday. <laughs> this morning, we're going to actually meet his potential new babysitter at 10 a.m. I'm feeling kind of nervous about it, but I'm also excited because she literally lives right down the road, a couple houses down. So that kind of makes me feel a lot better because if something were to happen, I'm literally right here, which makes me feel so safe and confident. And that really eases my anxiety. So I'm really excited. <laughs> it's also really sunny this morning. Ohio weather has been absolutely gloomy the last like over a week. Sunshine is really bringing me back to life this morning. I'm hoping that we can get outside today, probably in the afternoon after his nap, go on a little walk, maybe to the park. I don't know. I just know it's going to be a good Friday, a good weekend, and I'm so excited to bring you guys along with me. Yeah. Deacon's excited too, huh? Yes. Yay. And Deacon is so happy you guys are here with us. So welcome back to my channel and spend the day with us. I am running late, of course, to go meet the new babysitter. So I'm gonna get Deacon dressed and then I'll meet you back in the car. I'm so embarrassed that I'm going to be 20 minutes late to meeting the new babysitter. I was just running around like a chicken cut off with her head. You know, it just made me 20 minutes late and that's okay. Um, so we just got in the car, we're gonna go meet the babysitter and then I will be right back. And it's a beautiful sunny day, so I'm super excited. Happy Friday. I just met the new babysitter. She was so nice. She had a super cute kitty cat and I'm covered in white hair now, but that's okay. Um, I'm super excited for Deacon to go there. She's got a lot more kids that she watches there, but she's really experienced and she said that she's been doing this for 15 years. She's really super nice and friendly and Deacon was smiling at her and already loved her and was playing with her toys, so I'm not worried about it. He'll be starting there in June after we get back from vacation. We're going to Florida in a couple weeks. He's got a little bit of time left with his old babysitter, which I'm glad. And we're still going to see her after he leaves because we love her. So we're going to do like play dates and, you know, still be in each other's lives because Deacon loves her and I love her and I love her kids too. Now I'm going to go get a coffee and possibly run to Target because I need a few things and take you guys along with me. So let's go. Hi, um, could I please get a toasted vanilla oat milk shaken espresso? Oh, grande, sorry. A grande And that's iced? Yes, that's how they count. Oh, okay. Is there else? Um, that's it. I'm such an idiot when I order a Starbucks. It's like I lose all of my brain cells the minute they ask me what I want. Hi! You better not fall asleep. We gotta go to Target. And you gotta take a nap later. So don't fall asleep. Did you just throw your bottle? 
No. Do you need a straw? Um, sure. You too. Thank you. Got my coffee. She looks so pretty. This is my favorite drink right now. <laughs> We just got out of Target. All I had to grab was some snacks for Deacon and some coffee pods for my Nespresso machine. It's now almost Deacon's nap time, so I need to run us home and pray that he does not fall asleep in the car because last time that happened, he did not take a nap for the whole day, even though he only slept for five minutes in the car. So I don't know how a five minute car nap equates to a full day nap. I don't know, but let's run home and I'll catch up with you guys when I get there. I just put Deacon down for his nap. He usually naps around two to three hours. So now I'm gonna get a little bit of work done and then do some cleaning up and some content planning. And I'm taking you guys along with me. So let's go. There's been a whole lot of trying, whole lot of crying, whole lot of telling me I should be dying and be like. I just got a couple of things for work done and now I'm gonna clean up the house a little bit while Deacon is still napping. Let's go. Crying, whole lot of telling me I should be dying and be like you. But I don't wanna be like you. Cause I could do, I could do better. I could do, I could do better. Deacon's play area in the back room where I work is usually a mess by nap time, so I'm gonna clean this up. So Deacon just woke up from his nap. Let's go get him out of bed. Hi. Hi. Hi, sweetie. Did you have a good nap? Yeah. Did you have a good nap, huh? You slept so good. You're a big boy. He slept so good like a big boy. Yes, he did. Hi. Hi, sweetie. Hello. Come on. Ah, big boy. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> so Deacon slept for about three hours and it's four o'clock now. So now I have to make him a quick lunch before dinner because he's probably a hungry little man, aren't you? You hungry little man? So let's make him some lunch.
Thank you so much for spending the day with me as a work from home mom. Be sure to subscribe if you want to continue following along and me and Deacon will see you next time.